Hello, everybody, and welcome to Thursday. I just made really uncomfortable eye contact with somebody, so this is gonna be a great video. So I am doing my Des Moines thrift with me. This is my moment, and I don't know how big of a moment it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go to two thrift stores today. I'm going to go to one of my favorite Goodwills that I go to when I go to Des Moines. It can kind of be hit or miss, but you know, usually I find a nice little pickup or two every time I go. And then I'm going to go to this absolutely massive like warehouse Salvation Army. So Salvation Army historically has done quite well. For me, not like anything crazy like what you're used to seeing when I go to Minneapolis, like when we go to the bins. But you know, every now and again, I'll find like some nice little piece of something designer or I'll find like a good little something something for the internet. So I, fingers crossed, that the Des Moines Thrift Gods are with us today. And let's go see what we find. I do get a little bit nostalgic every time I come back to this Goodwill because it just reminds me of the first time that I came here. And every single time since then, I've always gone to the dresses first. And just like 90% of all the other times I've ever come to this Goodwill, I find no good dresses. It's all just a bunch of old mall brands and things that I have no interest in selling. One of the things that I do really like about Iowa Goodwill compared to the Minnesota Goodwills is Iowa Goodwills do flat rate pricing. So each individual category of clothing is only one price, which is super nice because sometimes in Minnesota, they can get a little liberal with how they're marking stuff. After dresses, I would always then go to the jeans section, which apparently today is a little lackluster. So the first thing I ended up finding was this really cool bohemian looking 70s style belt that I think is really cute, that'll do really good on Depop. And then the other belt that I found is this really nice, I'm gonna safely assume this is a men's belt just because it seems really long, fossil belt. I also ended up finding the chaser as I moved from the belts into the top section, and unfortunately I am going to be leaving this one behind just because the wear on the fabric was just a little bit too much, even though I did think the style was kind of cute. This next top definitely went into my Google pile. I had never heard of this brand before, and it looked kind of fancy, and every now and again I could find a cute piece of anthropology at this Goodwill, so I did end up Googling it, and unfortunately it is only a TJ Maxx brand, but it was still pretty cute though. I definitely would have gotten these Uggs if they were in a little bit better condition. They were that really nice thick suede kind instead of the kind of like cheapier brown suede that we see all the time, but unfortunately they were just a little too beat. This top I thought had the potential to quite possibly be a free people piece. It was that free people gauze that I find all the time, but unfortunately I could not find any kind of interior tags or any name brand tags, so this went back. Eileen Fisher, I'm definitely not as opposed to picking it up as I feel like I once was, but I am very picky about where I pick it up. So typically I only get in the bins and that sweater was unfortunately just way too pilly. So after looking on the new rack, I only found two things and they're both going to go to my sister. It's this vintage or vintage-esque looking Notre Dame t-shirt from Champion and then this Georgetown t-shirt. She is a tried and true girly and she wears all these collegiate things all the time. The shoes at this good location can be very hit or miss. I found some really amazing pieces here and I found absolute duds most of the time. This really cute pair of Tim Edelman's I thought was really trendy. I liked the kind of like 70s looking flared heel with this kind of like coppery looking snakeskin. So those I did end up picking up. These little cheetah loafers I thought could have been like a J Crew, but they were unfortunately only a 9 West. I was absolutely obsessed with these little Y2K beaded sandals with these teeny tiny little heels. I thought they were so cute, so I did put those in my cart to look at a little bit more. This 
next pair of loafers was Shelly's London, and I know I had heard of that brand before, but I couldn't remember if it was a decent brand to pick up or not. And I thought they were kind of a cute little patent leather style, especially as we go into wedding season. So I did grab those to look up a little bit later. So these little Splendid sandals, I thought they were really cute with this kind of like chunky layered platform, but Splendid as a brand does horrible for me. This next pair of shoes kind of piqued my curiosity. They seemed like a really well-made pair of little Spanish woven shoes or these little like sneakers. So I definitely wanted to look them up a little bit further, but I had a little problem finding the other one. <laughs> Okay, so I finally found the other one of those men's little espadrille like woven sneakery things and this one has no brand or anything in it either. I literally couldn't find a single, single thing. I googled every single number, every single name on the shoe and I couldn't find anything. So after looking at shoes, I always would go to the men's department because it's right next door. The men's department historically has been very, very, very lackluster for me. It's mainly just like t-shirts and old business company polos and then occasionally a jacket or two every now and again. But just like all the other times I've been here, this was a pretty dry trip. Except this cute little tennis skirt that somebody put back in the wrong spot. How nice is this? The colors on this I think are super cute. I've never really seen this like peachy kind of a color and a golf skirt and it is a vintage Nike piece which is super good. It has the liner so this I definitely think is going to come home with me. These slippers I just thought were super funny. I always remember I wanted a pair that looked like um, the peanut gallery from the Muppets when I was a kid. I don't know why, I think it's because I'm attracted to shiny objects, but this little silver chalice was just so mesmerizing to me. So as I'm getting ready to check out, I make one quick stop by the pants section because this typically is a section that I don't find much in, but I did find this really cute pair of Loka pants, which is from Anthropology, and I think these are gonna do really good for the spring and the summer with this really nice like gingham looking fabric and this wide leg cut. And what do I spy with my little eye? Could it be a Burberry scarf? No, it's a mall fake. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so sorry that we had to suffer through that. That was quite honestly one of the worst Goodwill trips I've ever had in my entire life. It was so dry and it was so quiet. I was so uncomfortable because I thought that everybody, because I'm tall in real life and the racks of the Goodwill only hit me like waist high so I'm just standing there trying to like not be super obvious I'm trying to film. I was literally convinced that somebody was going to tell me to get out. So thankfully that didn't happen. So I am going to take a little bit of this and then we are going to go to the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army is much bigger and they kind of sometimes have some really fun vintage along with like some of the work their finds. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we just find something. And also, so I just forgot to mention, I just pulled into Salvation Army. We are going to do a fun little surprise at the end of this video. So I'm worried that I'm not gonna have a ton of footage, but I don't wanna have just like, you know, a 10 minute video. So I am going to rope Janet, my lovely mother, into doing a thrift haul with me. This is gonna be so much fun. This is gonna be so much fun. She's never been in a YouTube video before. So that's gonna be super exciting. She's gonna have a great time and she can't say no because how do you say no to your kids? So let's go to Salvation Army. Let's see what we find. I hope we find something good. When I say this Salvation Army is literally massive, this thing is huge. So the first thing I ended up finding was actually on a rack that I hadn't priced yet. So they priced it at $5.99. It was just this cute little J. Crew cardigan. I don't think I'm gonna get it though for six bucks. It's kind of a lot for a vintage J. Crew piece, but I did end up finding this really cool vintage like Versace-esque chain belt. And all the belts are like $3. So that is gonna come home with me. 
the bags of the Salvation Army are kind of interesting, so sometimes they put most of the really expensive ones kind of behind the counter, and some of the cheaper, like, mall brandy ones are on these racks, but I have had friends that I found extremely nice designer finds on these racks, so every time I come here, I scour just to make sure they didn't miss anything. Today, unfortunately, we found nothing. The dress section in the Salvation Army is also a very, very wild trip. I did really like this pretty little pink dress, but I thought it was just a little bit of a wider cut, so I did unfortunately pass on it. But all the dresses line the entirety of the back wall in this store. There are so many, and most of the time whenever I come here, I usually never find a single good one. They are all always Shein, Target, cheapy mall brands, Forever 21, which is such a disappointment because there's so many to look through. I honestly have no idea what this item's original purpose was, but I just thought they were super cute. It was these three little dresses. The shoe section at this Goodwill is also very massive, just like the dresses and just like the purses, sometimes it can be very hit or miss. These Melissa sandals I thought were kind of cute, but I really didn't want to spend six bucks on them. This brand does not do very good for me, so I did leave those behind. A lot of the time when I see shoes here, it's a lot of mall brand things. It's a lot of like comfort shoe brands. So not a ton of stuff that I'm typically interested in picking up. So this pair of sneakers that ended up being a really nice pair of Vince sneakers, even though their sneakers typically don't do very good for me, they did want $15 for them, which is definitely more than I'm willing to spend, so I did end up leaving those behind. I thought that this zebra sandal could have been a Pons sandal, which do very well for me historically, but unfortunately they were not. So I did leave those behind. And then I saw this throwback from my middle school years. It was this gold sequin pair of Uggs. Every girl that was somebody when I was in sixth grade had these sneakers and they wanted $15 for them. These things are probably 10 years old. I did end up finding this Alice and Olivia cardigan that was on one of the new racks that Salvation wheeled out, but unfortunately this style was just a little too dated for me, so I couldn't even pick it up even though it was only $5. One thing I really do appreciate about the Salvation Army is how many new racks they have out all the time. So every single one of these yellow racks is new stuff that's just come from the back, and this is typically where I find a lot of my good stuff. Case in point, this really cute new tag Millie sweater that's in this really interesting gray snow leopard was on one of the new racks. Case in point part two, this super cute free people romper. I love this color. This is a perfect spring summer piece and this was just sitting on one of the new racks waiting for me to take it. And what is a little thrift trip without finding something for yourself? So Salvation Army tends to price up some of their shoes and they put them on this specific rack up at the front. And I found a pair of size 43 Birkenstock Boston's in this really amazing blue suede, which is my size and I love them. This was an exciting find for a whole host of different reasons. So my father, bless his heart, is a Tommy Bahama stan, but he is very cheap. So he will never go buy Tommy Bahama new. So whenever I find it in the thrift store, I get it for him. <laughs> 
So this was a new practice to me. I had never known that Salvation Army was selling the Target returns or the Target like overflow stuff and they want so much for it. This dress was $35 at Target and Salvation Army is trying to ask for $21.99. That is insane. And they have so many of them. Good luck trying to find all these people to buy $21 Target dresses. This I just thought was a super cute little t-shirt. I think it's like one of those new ones from Walmart, but Rugrats was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. As with the rest of us, I will only ever pick up Zara at the bins, but I did think this top was really cute. This little micro checkered kind of faux suede looking top. I thought it was the $6. The Salvation Army also has a ton of really old anthropology and every single one of them was priced at $4.99 and I left every single one of them there. Even though I did really like this metal blue top, the lace, I thought it was really pretty. This skirt had been whispering to me ever since I got in the store. So this aisle is right in front of the new racks and every time I would look at the new racks, I would see this little skirt and I just couldn't help myself. I went over and I looked at it, it was six bucks, but I think this is gonna do so good on Depop. I think this is so trendy right now and I love the colors, so I did end up taking that home. And right behind, or very close to, my little furry core skirt was this super cute, really interesting patterned Y2K skirt and it was Vintage Express. It was only six bucks, but I think this is gonna do so good on Depop as well. One of the last clothing sections I always look in is the jackets, and I did end up finding this really cute Ralph Lauren, very Y2K, very trendy with the green little vest, but they wanted $9 for it, and I just wasn't super sold on the price, so I did end up leaving this behind. After I'm done looking at the clothes, I always love to peruse the hard goods and just see what kind of wonderful treasures await me. I thought this basket was super cute, but I unfortunately have no use for a basket, but it is always just fun to kind of like look at the knickknacks and see what we can find. This little family of cat statues I thought was super cute, but I knew for a fact that Jack would absolutely not have them sitting in his home, even though the one that was stretching was so cute. First time finding Rothy's at the thrift store, and it's just a pair of the insoles. This little floral bathroom set I thought was super cute, but unfortunately I don't have a house yet to use it, but I did love all the colors. This was a total blast from the past. One of my absolute favorite shows when I was a kid was Scooby-Doo, so I 100% ended up picking this up. Okay, hi everybody. As promised, I'm here with my wonderful mother who's never made an appearance on this channel before. Jack's mom has been a few times. Do you want to introduce yourself? Well, I'm the, I'm the proud mom of <laughs> Brian. And I know Debbie is really good at this and I, I've never done this before. So I hope I, hope I do okay. This is gonna be fun. So she's gonna do a blind react to the things that I found at the thrift store. I'm not gonna tell her anything about anything and we'll go over like prices and stuff later. So let's start with the Goodwill stuff. This oh, is gonna be that fun. was our cat that just Yeah, ran Kitty by. just he's, ran by. I'm sorry. Okay. So here, yeah. we'll do this first. So what do we think of this one? What do we think? What is it? Oh, it's, it's a tennis is skirt. Is it a skirt? Oh, it is. See, there's shorts underneath it? Yeah, that's cute. It's yeah. a little... Yeah. So this is gonna be like a haul from the stuff that I got, even though I think I showed most that's, of this. Yeah. It's just a really cute little Nike tennis skirt. Do you that's know what style cute. this is? If I said this is a Y2K style would you know what that means no i don't do you know what y2k no. is well i know what y2k is <laughs> but how is Y2K that is? how does that relate to clothing what do you think y2k is it's the year 2000. <laughs> i work in it y2k means you know so now y2k you know. is like a techno kind of like early 2000s oh, style okay okay mm -hmm. i got it okay Quite funny. Okay, so this is our next item. This oh, is the anthropology piece. That's super cute. I this love is that. from Lilka. Okay. okay, I love that. Thoughts, opinions? Love it. Do you like them? But I love stripes, though. Uh, those are adorable. They look super comfy, and they're kind of even like wide legged. 
Look at that, which is super popular. <laughs> You're right good now. at that. I know. know. If you know Janet, That's you know cute. that she only wears stripes. She wears or so many stripes. Or polka dots or checks. Or gingham. Yeah. Or gingham. Yeah. gingham. Okay, so now we have a pair of shoes. <laughs> Do you not like this? No, I don't. Why? They're cute. They're 70s with this like fun little flared heel, flared, little like fun little heel. I, the copper color is kind of throwing me <laughs> off a little bit. Like Why? they're just, I don't know. They almost look like yellowy or I don't know. So these are, these That's are, a these, pass are these are a no? Yeah, okay. those are a pass. Okay. And then we got two belts at Goodwill. Okay. So this is the first one. Oh, uh, that's, you know, like a 70s boho vibe. Yeah. Okay, see, so you yeah. do know some things. Good. <laughs> 70s boho. Good Thank for you. you. <laughs> and then, okay, so this is our last one. This one's just plain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, you can't go wrong with like a nice stand. Silver, yeah, like the nice. brush silver is probably pretty popular. Yeah. Do you recognize fossil? Do you know yes, that? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay. Good. They make good watches. Yes, they do. Okay, so how much do you think I spent on all that at Goodwill? $8. I wish. It was 16 Oh. $16 okay. was my total. Okay, so now we'll move on to the Salvation okay. Army. So this is the first thing. Full disclosure, this is for my dad. It's a little um, Tommy Bahama. Oh. He loves Tommy Yeah. Bahama, Do you think so. he's going to wear this? Yes, he absolutely will wear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He loves it. He we loves should put Tommy a clip Bahama. in of him trying this on later. That'd be fun. So we caught Todd mid-paint, but do you like your Tommy Bahama? I love anything Tommy Bahama. Yeah, that looks good. That's awesome. Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Back to painting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, did you see the price tag? Yeah. You think $9 was a good buy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That okay. stuff is crazy so expensive. So we'll put that on the wash pile. Okay, so now we're getting into the things to sell. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so what do we think of this one? Brand on this is broomstick skirts, which I don't really think means a whole lot of anything. What do we think? Um, it kind of matches your sweater. I know. Sweater. It, it kind of does, but I, I'm i not <laughs> digging that. I don't know why. Really? If I told you this was fairy core, would you know what that means? No. It's like no. people that dress up like little woodland critters. Oh. How fun. Okay, and you then... Do you that to sell? I like, do. is someone going <laughs> to... Yes, I Maybe do. it looks better on than what it does coming out of a, a plastic bag. Okay. Okay, so this is the okay. next one. So that's kind of a techno y thing. Yeah. yeah. Would you say this is a Y2K? Yeah, I would. Skirt. Now that I know what that is. That's mm -hmm. kind of cute. I kind of dig it. I think it's fun. This I is like really with, old Express. Oh, it is? You mm -hmm. know what? With like a blue, like crop sweater. Oh, yeah. That yeah, would be that cute. would be very mm -hmm. cute. That yeah. was cute. Okay. Oh, so these are for me. Of course, he always has to buy himself hey, something. I'm forgetting my uh, pants. And that's Todd. <laughs> Todd, you want to come make an appearance? You're on the video, no. Todd. Okay. <laughs> There's Todd. Okay. Thank you. I found <laughs> myself a pair of Birkenstock Bostons. I actually oh, kind of yeah. wanted a pair of these, and I think they're kind of fugly, but I'm excited to wear them. Is the bottom getting good shape? They're like brand new. Oh, They've never God, been worn. Look at that. Like I know. Brand new. They've never been worn. Do you have to eat right now? I'm hungry. We're filming. We're filming. Sorry. Uh, this is really important Ooh. stuff. <laughs> it never stops. Okay. Good. Okay. So how much may I ask? These were 25, these were 25 okay. bucks, That's which I think is a really good buy. Yeah. Okay. So this is not a clothing item. It's a fun little accessory. Do you recognize this brand? Oh, Rothy's, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. do you know Rothy's? I found yeah. a pair of the insoles. Oh, that's probably good So those deal. are super yeah. fun. Yeah. Okay, and then this is a little piece of nostalgia. Oh my gosh, your sister would kill for that. <laughs> she thinks she would. My sister is like a huge Scooby-Doo It's fan. a Scooby-Doo license, um, plate, license cover. plate cover. So this might have to go to her. Oh yeah. That'll be fun. Okay, and then I got one belt is this at my debut on social media? Salvation Army. What? Is this my debut on social media? <laughs> yes. Your little like entrance you made back there, yeah. that was your debut. Yeah. Okay, so that's, this is the belt. That's cute. Do you think this is fun? Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I like that. What style would you say this is? Uh, um, I don't know. Greek, Greek, Reco, Greek. Greek? Yeah, it looks kind of like a, you know what that would look really good is like a black sheath dress. You know, kind of yeah. draped around the waist. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would look really sharp. Look at you, Janie. Okay, we got one more bag. So we have this fun little sweater. 
Okay, I kind of like that. I don't know that every that's not really for it? everybody, but I like do a like little snow leopard sweater. Okay. I every every woman needs a little animal print in her wardrobe. Everybody you does. Heard it here first. Everybody every does. woman needs you a, just little need a little animal bit, print. Not a lot. A little bit. <laughs> Are you gonna be Big Ange all of a sudden? I, just nobody can be Big Ange. I do. She's so unique. But that's yes, true. no. Do you recognize this band? Millie. No. Millie. I don't know who that is. Millie. Size medium. Millie is a pretty high end, like mid tier designer. Okay. So this was actually so kind like of compatible with time. or like similar to like Vince, like price wise. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So we have a few more things. This I feel like is going to be the most recognizable for you. Oh, that's cute. That's mm -hmm. a cute little romper. A little coral. Oh yeah, that's moment. Really cute. Where was it? Wear linen? This, do you think? I don't know. It, it kind of a linen cute. blend of some sort. Yes, yeah. That's very cute. Where would you wear this? Uh, out to dinner on a warm sun evening, summer evening. Yeah. Going to a baseball game. Yeah. Do you recognize yeah. this brand? Oh, the tag is so small. I can't see it. I have my glasses on. Is that free people? Yes, yes. it is. Yeah. We do okay. like free people moment. Okay. And then the last thing. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, okay. What do we think? <laughs> Not my favorite. I don't know, but it's so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Do you know what style this is? Uh, no. If I told you this was that Y2K, would you believe me? No. I don't yeah. think it, it is. These halter tops are super popular. Are they? Yeah, they are. Would you recognize this brand? It's really old. Oh, Charlotte Russe. Charlotte yeah. Russe. Yeah. Ah, uh, from the mall. From, I was going to say, from the mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay, so if I, how much do you think all that was? Uh, Oh, well, including your shoes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the shoes were $24.99, so everything okay. else besides the shoes, because those are for me. $74.90. Did you see the receipt? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so my total at Salvation Army was... Yeah. About 75 bucks, but 25 50 minus your the shoes. shoes. Yeah. So okay, if you think that was a good, good buy, you think it was a good deal? Uh, oh, well, and then 10 for the time of Bahama. Oh, yeah, which was a gift. It's okay. Like yeah, I think you did pretty well. I mean, some of those, some especially those pants. I, I want to see how well those pants do because I bet You're those really will go really quick. Pants. I know, and the the, the <laughs> rompery thing is really cute too. Though. Yeah. So if I had to tell you to pick a favorite, what would it be? Uh, the romper or the pants? Yeah, and then least yeah. favorite. Uh, this thing. Uh, this thing. <laughs> I don't know why. I just I don't know. Oh, but it's even got a zipper in the back too, and elastic. Huh. It's gonna be built into that thing. Yeah, so I guess it would fit well. I mean, it, it's not fussy as to how it fits because it's got you know elastic in the back. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, not my favorite. <laughs> okay. But you know what? If someone buy, I bet it'll be beautiful on somebody. You know, just not. She's me. so nice. Not, not me. Oh, though. that's funny. So, okay. okay, well, thank you for joining this with me. This was fun. I hope everybody likes meeting yeah. Janet. We talk about you all the time. You but do. nobody's ever met you. Is yeah. it good stuff? Do you say nice things? 50 50. <laughs> no. Depends. Okay. All right. Hello, everybody. So, this is Editing Ryan. Um, unfortunately, when I went to export the lovely video of me and my iconic mother, it chopped off the entire outro, which is super irritating. So, I just really want to say thank you for everybody to coming to watch this video. This was definitely a labor of love. I am not the editor, as you can tell. Jack does all the funny edits most of the time, and this was me, like, giving it a shot. I hope you really enjoyed it. I had a really good time filming this video. I had a really good time trying to find all these really fun things for you guys, and I had a really amazing time showing Janet off because I love her so much and I hope she had a really good time filming. So I hope everybody has a really nice rest of your week and I will see you next time with Jack and maybe Debbie or Mike or I don't know, somebody else might pop up. Bye.